My paternal grandmother lived by the seaside on the Sussex coast and I grew up going there a lot as a child for holidays and there are these beautiful shingle beaches there and um, brightly coloured beach huts and that was always the landscape for Madame Badubada in my head but it started with an image of this little girl, an only child who was forensically nosy um, and the image of an elderly lady surrounded by chaos checking into a hotel. I chose to set the story in a hotel because I think hotels are such places of magic and mystery. I feel like you never really know quite what goes on in a hotel and a different a room can have a meaning for every different person that checks in. So you could have one room that a couple check in and they get engaged. And then the next night you could have someone come in and have a terrible fight on the phone with their boss. They're just, there's something very mysterious about them. And I love that they are real keepers of history and secrets. So the character of Mabel um, was inspired both by my own kids. I have two daughters who are um, six and eight. And also I think she had a big thread of me as a child. So I was an only child till just before I was seven. And um, I was endlessly making up fantasy, um, I guess, <laughs> guess to stave off boredom because <laughs> I had to kind of entertain myself a lot. So. Everything was much more mysterious and, and enigmatic than it was. And I think I was a major junior detective. And so there's, there's a lot of that running through Mabel. So I think writing a children's book felt like a natural progression for me. I've written four adult books, two fiction and uh, two books about food, because I'm a, a greedy writer, really. Um, and when I had children, um, it, it awoke that muscle again. I think I was suddenly immersed in all the fiction, children's fiction that I loved as a kid and seeing it through the eyes of my kids. And that was when I had all the imagery of this book just started flooding into my head. So I take inspiration from all over the place, so things my kids say. Um, one of my daughters was not a fan of plimsolls <laughs> and felt that they were cardboardy. Um, orchard puddings was another one that um, came up in our family. And I think that that's what writers and readers, I was a reader long before I was a writer. Um, I'm a real studier of people and I like I like the backstory, so I um, pick up bits and pieces from all over life.